Mobile rigs are test vehicles that are fitted with a test tire. The test tire and the associated steering, braking and sensing of it can be mounted on a truck or a trailer. The obvious advantage of mobile test rigs are they can perform tests and measurements on real test surfaces. Usually tests are performed on test tracks where the road surface is known to be homogeneous. As the test tire is mounted on a vehicle, the airflow is more correct compared to a stationary rig. However, the test conditions are often so extreme that the heat is unrealistically high compared to a normal driving condition of the tire. The control of motion of the test tire is accurate, but not as good as in a stationary rig. One issue is the variation of load on the test tire, which is connected to the vehicle motion of the test track or trailer. The big disadvantage of mobile test rigs are uh, that they're dedicated machines and very expensive. The measurements are most often done outdoors and hence the control of the environment, uh, environmental condition is lost. They are less stiff compared to stationary rigs, implying less accuracy and more noise and unwanted phenomena in the measurements. A third category of testing strategies of tires is to perform the test using the vehicle where the tires were, are intended to be used. These types of tests allow the tire to experience the real condition and the measurements can be directly connected to the overall vehicle response and motion. From a tire testing perspective, we can say that the advantages are a relatively inexpensive setup for um, measuring tires. Tests like these are performed on test tracks and the test track time can of course be expensive. The vehicle also needs to be fitted with expensive sensors such as force and moment sensing wheels. However, it is still a cheap alternative compared to dedicated tire testing machines. The conditions of the tire are as close as the real conditions as you can come. The stiffness is, the same, is for the same reason also correct. However, from a measurement perspective, this might represent a challenge. Being a shape cheap and flexible solution for some tire measurements, there are some stark disadvantages that limit the use of this approach to certain applications. Because of the stiffness and the suspension of the vehicle, it may be hard to isolate the tire contribution in the measurements. Shared with mobile rigs, tests like these are often performed on a test track where the conditions such as weather as the weather are not controlled. However, the biggest disadvantage of measuring tires in a test vehicle is the lack of ability to disconnect the motion from the force and moment responses. In dedicated test rigs, the test tire motion is controlled and the force and moments are measure measured. In a test vehicle like this, the motion is not controlled to the same extent and is connected to the force response that moves the vehicle. This implies that, for example, finding the parameters of a tire model might be very challenging using this type of testing. If we want to find uh, the parameters of a tire model through measurement data, we need to make sure that we have all the data we need. As previously shown, there are some other considerations regarding the type of machines used as well. For, for this example, we will assume that we are using either a mobile or a stationary rig, where we have full control of the motion of the tire. From previous videos, 
we know that the input of a tire model are longitudinal and lateral slips, as well as the load of the tire. The outputs are the longitudinal and the lateral forces that the contact patch produces. Sometimes we also, we're also interested in the aligning torque of the tire. To generate the slips, we need to measure the angular speed, the travel speed, and the angle which we control towards the forward path of travel. The speeds and angles can easily be measured accurately. Challenges and sources of error are typically in compliance with the rig. Another challenge is to obtain an accurate rolling radius that match the intended from the tire model. The output forces and the sensing of the load are more challenging as the sensor technology used is more affected by biases and drift. For example, piezoelectric or strain gauge sensors. For a typical tire model, we are after the slip versus force relation. This is for obvious reasons not a natural working condition of the tire. For example, heat will be generated, which will influence the resulting measurements. It is hence often necessary to measure the temperature developed and to have test protocols that generate predictable results in this regard. In this video, we have learned that tire measurement can be made with very different purposes, from performance ratings and legislation to development and research. The purpose may determine how the tests and the measurements should be performed. Different machines have different advantages and dis disadvantages. While dedicated tire test machines offer a controlled environment, they are costly and may not be able to reproduce realistic test conditions. Tire measurements in standard vehicles may be a cheap alternative, but fail to disconnect the motion from the forces and moment.